Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanLeather.com and today we are going to perform the benchmarking test on our Yes Mobiles Andy 5T smartphone. Um, Andy 5T comes with a 1.3 GHz quad-core processor, it is having 1 GB of RAM, 720p HD screen which is 5 inches in size and uh, it is having Mali 400 dual core GPU. So we are expecting that the overall performance of Andy 5T is going to be good in this benchmarking test but let's perform some of the test and let's have a look at how much score it's going to get with respect to the rest of the devices available in the market. So the applications we got here for benchmarking tests are Android Benchmarking, Geekbench 3, Basemark OS 2 and Quadrant Standard. So we have only performed Android Benchmarking and Basemark OS 2 tests because these two tests are pretty time consuming so we don't want to waste your time while watching this video. So let's go to the Android Benchmarking and let's have a look on the score. So the Android Benchmarking score of Yes Andy 5T is 18,035 as you can see here which is pretty good considering the hardware it is having that is 1.3 GHz watch processor and just 1 GB of RAM along with the 720p HD screen so let's have a look on the most more information here as you can see it is having a 4.2 uh, MediaTek processor Mali 400 dual core processor GPU 720p HD screen, 13 megapixel camera and the rest of the details. Let's go to the ranking to see where our Andy 5T is scoring. So you can see here it's right below the Xiaomi Mi2. So the score is 18,035 but uh, the overall performance of the device is uh, pretty good if you have a look on our gaming performance test you will find that even though uh, it is not having higher scores like the rest of the flagship devices available in the market it is uh, performing pretty well while uh, doing the multitasking and while playing some of the high-end games so let's go to our another benchmarking application that's Bestmark OS 2 And we can go to the results to directly check how much score it uh, has received. So you can see the overall score is just 140, which is pretty bad, you can say, because the performance of the system is really very well. Really it scored 967 for memory, read writing. This performance is also good. It's 297. For graphics, once again, it's not pretty bad. It's 139 but for the web browsing performance it's really very really bad that is just 10 so the overall score is just 140 uh, you can also compare these scores by watching uh, our previous benchmarking test uh, videos of the rest of the devices so you will get the better idea that how good the andy 5t will be with respect to those devices and the third application we got here is the Geekbench 3 here and let's do the test right here in front of you to see that how much score it's going to receive and how good it's going to be with respect to the rest of the devices So the 50% of the test is already finished. Let's wait and watch and let's see how much score our Yes Andy 5T is going to get in Geekbench 3 benchmarking test.
okay so the test is over now and the performance score is here for the single core a score it's 347 for multi core it is 1172 let's go to these sections separately to see how good our device is performing with respect to another devices so the score of our yes any 5t is 347 and if you go down the chart we can see that uh, it scored above the nexus 7 uh, asus nexus 7 tablet and it is also scoring above the galaxy nexus and motorola moto g but it is, its score is below samsung galaxy s3 so if you have used any of these devices you will get the idea that uh, the performance of the yes and the 5t will be in between samsung galaxy s3 and asus nexus 7 and if you go to the multi-core section um, the, the score of our yes and 5t is 1172 if we have a look on this table you can see it's just below the motorola moto x and just above the motorola moto g which is having qualcomm snapdragon 400 processor and motorola moto x is having qualcomm snapdragon s4 pro processor so once again uh, the performance of our yes and 5t will be in between of these two devices as you can see here so let's go back to our last test for today that's quadrant standard and uh, let's run this test and let's see how much score our device is going to get in this test quadrant standard is uh, a detailed benchmarking test which considers 2d graphics rendering 3d graphics rendering you can see here the fps we are receiving for our yes and the 5t is between 50 and 60 here you can see so this test is all about uh, the graphics the read write speed and overall performance of the device once again the fps we are receiving here is between 55 and 60 So the test is finished now and our device has scored 7127 score in this quadrant standard test and uh, as you can see here that uh, the score is high above the STC One X and the ASUS Transformer Prime uh, device. So if you have used any of these two devices you can see the performance of yes and 5t will be much better than these two devices and it is also going to be better than the samsung galaxy nexus galaxy tab 10.1 lg optimax 2x though these devices are a bit old with respect to and 5t uh, the performance of yes and 5t is going to be much better than them so we can expect that the overall performance of yes and 5t will be pretty good in real life scenario also if you watch our gaming performance test you can see that yes and if i have to perform really very well uh, in terms of uh, high graphics performance and also the multitasking so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands-on reviews like this have a nice day